So these are my brand new MAC blushes in the Pro Palette. I just wanted to talk about them a little bit and tell you why I got the colors I got and what I like about them, what I don't like about them. If you can see, I have a couple that I've owned for a long time that are um, I'm already at the pan on because I love them that much. But I wanted to get a variety. So the first shade up here, this is called Mocha. And you might think it'd be brown, but it's actually one of the more pink shades that I got. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but it's like a mauve pink. And um, I can go ahead and swatch these. Um, but I think this one's really good if you're wearing like pinky tones. Um, so let me try to get it in camera. See, it's very pink. It's not brown at all, which Mocha would make me believe it would be. And then um, the next color in the palette is one that I've owned for a long time. This is Sunbast. And it's kind of hard to see, but it does have a shimmer, which I know I talk about how I don't like shimmers. But um, once in a while, it's a fun thing. This is a little bit more, it's in between a blush and a bronzer to me. It's got a little bit more goldish tones than my Spring Sheen would, which is the same shimmer tone, uh, sheer tone shimmer. Um, line but um, this one is more of a brown tone that's why when mocha is called a brown I'm like no sunbast is more brown than that the next one is one I owned before also this is called blush baby and it's a very soft like mauvey pink but it's really soft um, perhaps not as soft as buff which we're going to talk about in a minute but um, it's really pretty I think that it's good like if you need a blush you can wear every single day and you don't have a lot of money you don't want to buy six of them and change your blush depending on what you're wearing if you're more of a low maintenance low budget kind of girl and you want to get a high quality blush I would say that this one is awesome so that is right here it's um, max blush baby the next one's completely on the other end of the spectrum sort of if you think about it this is called melba and it's a like almost like a peachy coral. This lighting does not do it justice. I'm trying to see if I can catch another some different lighting. But um, what I love about this one is that I think coral is flattering on everybody. So this one I did right here. You can see it's more of a peach color than the previous ones. And um, I like to change it up. So the one I have on right now, I have bronzer and then Melba, which is more of a coral tone. It would look completely different with lip gloss, lipstick, but I wanted to do a video about those too, so that's why I don't have any on. Okay, so this is the other one I was talking about, about very neutral, is buff. You can tell, I mean, it's very similar to my skin tone, which actually, it's a little bit lighter and has a slightest bit of a um, brown to it, so I can use this as a contouring shade. It's a couple tones lighter, darker than my skin, sorry, a couple of shades darker than my skin, which means I can make the hollows of my cheekbones darker with it, and it doesn't look completely, oh my gosh, look what that brown she's wearing. It's basically my skin tone. It's just got a little bit of a pinky brown to it, and let me show you what that looks like. It's right here. It's very close to my skin tone compared to these other pigments. All right, three more. Um, this next one is a very pretty, I don't even know if I've worn it since I've gotten it, but it's called Blush All Day. And I think this is a MAC Pro um, shade. And you can tell, like, the finish on this color, um, when I put my finger in it, like, it just feels so rich. Like, I think they're a, the same cost or within a couple dollars, so nothing crazy. But... What I love is that this one just feels so good on your skin. Um, it's right there. I know it's really hard to see. I'm trying to get you a good angle. So it's the farthest one towards my shirt. You can see it like that. But I like that one because it's actually more of a darker, darker pink, which I don't normally buy. Um, if you notice, these are all pretty close in the family of like light pink, light peachy beige, light coral, light tan, light blush but um this is another one that's really pretty this is cubic and i'm going to try to get you a good shot of this one cubic is mo mostly pink this is a rosy shade this lighting is just not doing it justice but it's more of a rosy purpley pink um, 
get a better shot for you. But again, it's the one closest to. Oh my goodness! Let's try that again. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start over here on my hand now, the back of my hand. Maybe you can get a better shot of it. It's really pink purple. Okay, apparently that one's very light because it doesn't show up no matter how I swipe it. And last but not least, this one is called Gingerly. And I guess it's because it's more of a reddish orangey. But I like it because I can use this as a bronzer. I don't like a whole lot of shimmer in my cheeks. So this, if you have larger pores or mature skin, you might not want a shimmer. So um, if I'm feeling more playful, I will. But Gingerly is really pretty because it's just a slightest bit of orangey. But it's not orange blush by any means. And then this one you'll notice is more pigmented. Um, I put it right here. So it's more of an orangey base. I'm able to use that as a bronzer and a blush color if I want. If I'm wearing more warm tones, perhaps like a brown or even green. Um, you can either match your, your clo clothes like with your blush color and your lipstick and your eyeshadow and your eyeliner and, and go. If you're wearing a purple shirt, you can go for it. Go all purple. But I find that what looks really nice is contrast as well. So as long as your blush and your lipstick kind of go, or one of them's really neutral and the other one pops, it's fine. But as a general rule, I try to pick one focal point. Generally, it's my eyes, but I do sometimes play with lipsticks. Um, that will be the next video, so I wanted to leave the bare lips so I could show you a few different lipstick looks. But I hope you enjoyed. And if you're thinking about buying some MAC blushes, I watched a lot, a lot, a lot of YouTube videos of other YouTubers um, reviewing blushes from MAC, and um, I couldn't pick one, so I ended up buying, um, this is supposed to hold six, I have eight in it, because I pulled out the insert in my palette, it's like, has the little holes to hold the blushes, so, um, the other one that I love a lot is Spring Sheen, but it's out, it's so out to the point where you can't even make out the color in the pan, it's like, just on the outside edges, you can't even tell what it is, so, that one's more of a sheer tone shimmer with peach, um, it's really pretty. I've used the whole thing. I think that's the second one of that color I've used the whole thing of, the whole container, but I love it. Um, so I hope you found this helpful. If you're only going to buy one or two blushes, um, I would say to get a warm one and a cool one, you know, maybe one with a little bit more undertone of like an orangey and then get one that's more of a pinky purple. And if you really, if you can only buy one, buy a neutral one that works with every look. I hope that helped. Let me know if you have any questions. See you soon.